What's going on guys? Joey here with DaVinci Trades. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be going over how to stake your Solana tokens on your Ledger device for passive income and maximum security. So if that's what you're here for, smash that like button and a sub is always appreciated. Let's get started. As always, the first thing we wanna do is hook up our Ledger to our computer. Go ahead and put in your pin. On your Ledger Live app, navigate to the left side and click Manager. Grab your Ledger and double click to allow Ledger Live to manage your device. We can put our Ledger down for now. Now in Ledger Live, we'll wanna find Solana and we're gonna click Install on the right side. On your Ledger device, you should see a Loading Please Wait screen. And that was pretty quick. Congratulations, you've installed Solana on your device. The next thing we're gonna do is go to Add Account. Ledger Live will ask you to open the Solana app on your device, so go ahead and double click when it says open Solana app. It'll say application is ready. You'll start synchronizing your account on Ledger Live. Should only take a few seconds to synchronize, and after that, go ahead and click Add Account. Congratulations, you've added a Solana account to your Ledger Live app. Go ahead and click Done. Now in the Accounts tab of Ledger Live, we're gonna go ahead and click Solana, and then we're gonna click Receive. We're gonna go to Continue. Now we're gonna grab our Ledger device and confirm that the address on the screen matches the address on our Ledger device. Once you've confirmed that it's the same address, don't double click just yet. We're gonna go on the main screen and click Copy. Address copied. Now we're gonna navigate over to your exchange. Today we're gonna to be using Coinbase because it is one of the most common exchanges used by beginners. You don't have to use Coinbase for this process. You can use a multitude of other exchanges such as KuCoin, Binance, Gemini, BlockFi, whatever the case may be, this process is pretty much the same for most exchanges. Now I'm going to assume that you already have some Solana in your account. As you can see, we've got around 14 that we can play with today. I'm going to send a couple just for the sake of this video. If you guys haven't bought in Solana yet, then go ahead and do so. You can do it with cash that's in your account, uh, bank transfer, debit card. Uh, just be careful with the fees. But overall, definitely have some Solana in your account before moving on with this next step. All right, so with the Solana in your account, go to the top right corner and hit send and receive. In the to section, go ahead and paste your wallet address from Ledger Live. After you put in your address, you can choose the dollar amount in which you want to send over, or you can choose the soul amount in which you want to send over. And today, I'm going to be sending over two soul tokens. I'm going to click continue. Then I'm going to click send now. You may have to go through a two-factor authentication process. That's no problem at all. Open the Google Authenticator app or whatever authenticator app you use on your phone. Go ahead and plug in the numbers that show up on your mobile device, and then click confirm. And congratulations, you've successfully sent two soul over to your Ledger device. Click done. Now we're gonna navigate back to our Ledger Live app. At this point, your Ledger device has probably gone into standby mode, so go ahead and put your PIN number in again and connect to Ledger Live so we can go through this next step. Once you've unlocked your Ledger device, you'll likely see the address that you have to confirm again. So go ahead and navigate to the right and click Approve, double click. On your Ledger Live screen, you'll see Address Shared Securely, click Done. Overall, the transfer from Coinbase to my Ledger device took around 20 to 25 seconds. So if it doesn't show up right away, no problem at all. It just depends on the congestion on the network. As you can see, the Solana has populated into our account. What we're going to do is just click the Solana account. Once we click on the Solana account, we're going to navigate to the right side of Ledger Live and click Earn Rewards. You may earn rewards by delegating your sole assets to a validator. You keep ownership of delegated assets, delegate using your ledger device, and assets will be available after undelegation. Choose your validator wisely. Part of your delegated assets may be irrevocably lost if the validator does not behave appropriately. Now, no worries. If you don't know how to choose a validator, I'm going to show you how. Now, let's click continue. Click show more, and as you can see, we have a drop-down list of a bunch of validators that you can delegate your Solana to. 
The big numbers on the right side are the total amount of Solana that has been staked to that validator. The commission is the percentage of Solana that this validator will take from the reward pool before the rewards are distributed. Now you can do this however you like. However, what I like to do is stay from a two to 5% commission range with a high stake. So for instance, Alpha Pro is looking okay right about now. 1.9 million have been staked to this validator and a 5% commission is not unreasonable. However, a 10% commission at 1.6 probably isn't what you want considering you have this one. Now you might be tempted to scroll down a little bit further to find a commission that's at 0%, you know, with 1.8, Millions Solana stake to the validator. However, more than likely, this commission will go up over a certain period of time. And as you can see, it says 2021 to 2022. The reason they normally do this is because they want people to delegate. They want to attract new investors, new delegators. So they keep the commission at 0% until they reach the delegation amount that they want, and then they'll go ahead and rise the commissions. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and stake my Solana tokens over to Alpha Pro. I'm going to click this real quick just to show you guys that they are offering a 6.5% APY. Now again, they're not going to take 5% from your 6.5%. They're going to only take 5% away from the total reward pool that is going to be distributed amongst all the delegators. Make sense? All right, so we're going to click continue. Now, when you get to this screen, keep in mind that you may want to keep some Solana in your account for future transactions. So I have 1.9977 Sol in my account ready for delegation. I'm going to go ahead and put in 1.9 just to keep some Solana in my account for future transactions. I'm going to go to continue. We're going to grab our ledger device and put in our pin number one more time. It'll ask us to open our Solana app again. Go ahead and double click. Now, just like we did in the beginning of the video, we want to match the addresses on the screen with the ones on our ledger device. Once you've done that, navigate to the right side with your ledger device and go ahead and click approve. And congratulations, you have successfully delegated your assets. We're going to go to close. And after about 30 seconds, you'll see that the transfer has been complete from your available balance over to your delegated assets. Now, for whatever reason, it's showing that my validator is Ledger by Figment. That might have been a mistake on my end. Maybe I clicked the wrong button. But for this video, it's just an instructional, so I'm not too worried about it. However, my status says that I'm activating. Now, this means that I have to wait for the epoch to be over with in order to activate my delegation. In order to check this, what we'll do is go to explore.solana.com. And once we reach this page, we can see the epoch progress. This is 34% so far. The approximate epoch time remaining is two days, seven hours, and 17 minutes. So in two days, seven hours, and 17 minutes, I will be activated. After each epoch is finished is when you will start receiving your rewards. So check back in about five or six days and you'll be able to see the data on your rewards. If this video helped you out, guys, smash that like button. And once again, a sub is always appreciated. We'll see you next time on DaVinci Trades. Thank you so much.